have boats and high water vehicles that can be used in neighborhoods to help move people out of harm's way. We need your help. So you've probably seen by now that the Midwest, parts of the South, gigantic portions of the country are inundated with flooding of some would describe as biblical proportions. The <laughs> Aid agencies are struggling to get help to millions of people affected by devastating floods across South Asia. More than 1,200 people are believed to have died. It's thought to be the worst monsoon season in decades, with tens of thousands of people forced from their homes in India, Nepal and Bangladesh. Tsunami waves inundated their city knocking buildings into rubble and mixing into a kind of tsunami soup filled with vehicles, building parts and contents. Wake up. Do you really believe a space agency would tell us what they discovered if they knew it would be catastrophic? The Venture I mission was the first launch not televised since the inception of the program itself. The first time in 20 years anything has been cloaked in secrecy. And less than one week later worldwide flooding acres, millions have lost their homes and their lives. The program's silence is inexcusable. It won't be long before... Listen to me. What Venture One found up there, it wasn't alien if that's what you think. What it discovered was a barrier. There was something up there, all around us, around Earth, millions of miles up there, and that small probe activated it. We lost contact, we don't know what it was. All we know is what happened because of it, it's coming. You're not making any sense. There's no time for this. Why? What's coming? The end, the end of everything. <laughs> this is it. This is how it happens, this whole thing. Our planet, our species, that's, that's it. You know, we always wondered what was out there. We were never once content with what we had, huh? Just like the old stories of the Kraken. I'm not going to ask you again. There was a signal. Right before we lost contact with Venture One, we received a signal, a message. Call it a prophecy, if you will. It wasn't easy to decode at first. What did it say? All it said was restarting. Restarting. What does that mean? I don't know. It can't be good, okay? We've lost communications with every geosat in orbit. Nothing from the moon either. The TV isn't gonna work. You know, that's exactly what's happening to us. None of this is real. It's shutting down or restarting, as they said. Whoever they are. This is just some simulation, some game. Listen, I'm not making this up. How does this pertain to recent events? What, the flooding? Yes, and the meteorites, the earthquakes, all of it. The moment we lost contact with Venture, the Earth's magnetic field began shutting down. Compasses are all over the place, gauges are unresponsive, the seismographs are off the charts. I don't know how this is happening, but I know why. It's our fault. We were told not to go public with any of this. It was a closed circle situation, but that was last week. That was before any of this. Any of this started actually affecting things. We prayed it wasn't true. Did you know the two pilots? The pilots? What does that have to do with any of this? Don't play dumb. Three days ago, you were there. You and those two pilots disobeyed evacuation protocol. You let them through, didn't you? There's no hope for us here. We're out of options. There are no options. There's no escaping this. Mafai was fueled and on the launch pad. It was all ready go for launch before the flood sirens. We aborted, but... Something went wrong. Our reports indicate the crew abort sequence was initiated five minutes before the flood sirens went off. But then moments later, the go status was reinstated just long enough for those two pilots to lift off. The facility was under evacuation protocol, but you didn't leave, did you? Okay. <sighs> okay. You want me to be honest? Yes. You're right. I didn't leave. What Venture found up there is the death of us all. We knew from the moment we deciphered that code. Those two pilots, they came to me. They said they didn't want to die here, they didn't belong here, that they were destined for the stars, and I agreed to help them. We've gone through the mission plan time and time again. Moth 5 was to fly past the moon, correct? Yes, yes, but in theory, if flown carefully, they could land there. We lost communications with the crew shortly after liftoff, and 
Their supplies won't last more than a month, but that's more than enough time for them to figure out what to do. They've got a million dollar one-way ticket to the moon, while the rest of us are left here to die. Yes. There's nothing we could do. What about us, then? Well, I don't know. I guess we... Restart, 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 restart. Thank you.